one of the great things about Zabbix is the alerts that you can get when something goes wrong and you can get those alerts in your email or SMS or other ways which I'll also show but by default email at least isn't set up so if we go to administration media types and we look down here we can see that they're all these three things are enabled but actually Java SMS they aren't going to work and neither does email right now so I'm just going to disable those two and then we're going to have a look at the email settings and we can see that we we're just pointing to something that we don't really it's just default values so what we're going to do is create a SMTP server on the Zabbix server so that we can send emails from Zabbix whenever we have triggered an alert okay so I've logged on to the server now to the Zabbix server I'm going to install a program called Postfix and I'm going to configure it as a send only SMTP server so that will allow Zabbix to send emails to my personal email address okay so first thing we'll do is sudo apt install mail utils this will install postfix as well yes okay so it goes straight to a configuration page okay i'm going to select internet site now before i started this i created another a name record at my domain provider which i had called um, which I'd called uh, smtp.seanwazir.com and that pointed to the IP address this one here that we've been using earlier on that's the IP address of my Zabbix server so I've, so I've already done that and that should already be set up now throughout the internet and I'm going to put that value in here so system mail name is smtp.seanwazir.com okay okay so next thing we need to edit the configuration file the postfix so that is sudo nano etc postfix main.cf enter now we want to go down to the bottom we want to set this inet interfaces here to be loopback hyphen only like so inet interfaces loopback only now I don't have to change anything else it's already been set up for example smtp seanwazir.com was already set up that's all very very good okay so control x yes and enter to write it now to restart the postfix service sudo system ctl restart postfix okay so that seems okay now to test sending an email to my personal address from this server and we'll just use the command line so echo this is the body and pipe mail s this is the subject a oh, actually you can't see that from my oh, in my head so i'll just adjust that a from sean 
at smtp.seanwazir.com and I'm going to send it to Sean Wazir at gmail.com Press enter. And let's hope that my email server has a new email. So let's just check that now. Okay, so I've just opened my email server, my Gmail account, and in my spam folder, there is a new email from Sean. This is the subject, this is the body. That is what I just sent from my new Zabbix server. Now, I'll report this is not spam so that it goes into my inbox from now on. Okay, so now to configure the email settings inside Zabbix. Okay, so email, 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 SMTP server is localhost. Well, I'm going to use 127.0.0.1 SMTP hello 127.0.0.1 and the sender I'm going to be going to use Zabbix at smtp.seanwazir.com seanwazir.com that one Zabbix at smtp.seanwazir.com Okay, update. Let's give that a test. Sean was here at gmail.com. Test, media type test successful. And if I check my email again, my spam folder, I see Savix at smtp.seanwazir.com. I should also report that as not spam. Excellent. That's your SMTP server that your Zabbix can now use. All local.